company with Tom Slingsby, just returned to Australia after winning his third Laser World Championship. Firstly, Tom, congratulations. Thank you very much. Just talk us through your week. How did it all go for you? Yeah, uh, the Laser Worlds was a good week. Uh, I came there a little rusty uh, after uh, the Etcher Worlds. I was sort of flown straight in for the event and uh, the first couple of days I felt a bit weird in the boat but uh, after that we got a little bit more breeze and nice waves and I felt right at home and yeah sailed really well for the rest of the rest of the event. And that makes it three worlds in four years, you must be pretty happy with, with that? Yeah no for sure and uh, that last year was a bad year but uh, uh, that's fine it made this year a lot more sweeter when I came back and won. So looking back at you know the games, the 22nd of the games and 17th of the worlds last year, how did you turn it around? for this year? Yeah, I'm not too sure. It's hard to explain what the problem was. It was uh, I, I felt the same, but uh, I think it was just my confidence was down. And uh, yeah, it was the whole, uh, pretty much a calendar year from the Olympics uh, uh, and the world's finished exactly a year after. And for that one year, I just never had any good results, never felt good in the boat. And then, uh, and then yeah, the last year since then, since South for Gold last year in September, I've uh, sailed really well and I've had all the confidence I need and uh, I feel like I can win any event and yeah it showed this year. And it's been a big year for you with three World Cup victories, a third at the Europeans and, and in the World's victory, you must be happy with the year overall? Yeah for sure, yeah I mean I, every event I sailed I felt like I was going to win and uh, even the Europeans I led the whole way and lost a, on the last day and uh, so I, I felt like I sailed really well all year and yeah to I feel like I can cover all the bases, all the light wins, medium wins, strong wins. I've never felt like I had a weakness and uh, yeah, I'm really happy and I can only sort of build on this for next year. And then looking at looking forward to London 2012, you've had three events in the UK just over the last year and you've won all three. You must be enjoying the conditions over there? Yeah, oh, I love love Weymouth. It's uh, yeah, I feel really, really comfortable there and I feel like I can sail all the conditions and the bigger the waves they get, the better it suits me. So and flat water it just sort of brings everyone a bit closer together but uh yeah i feel like i can win there that's for sure and yeah and then winning the worlds in hailing island now nice waves as well so it suited me and then looking aside from the lasers you also had a, a big week the week before the worlds uh winning with uh john bertrand in the etchels tell us what that was like it was just amazing like winning is one thing but then uh just winning with john john's been trying for about 20 years now to win at your worlds he's had seconds thirds and fourths and uh and just for Doggy and myself to be part of the team that actually cracked and won it with him was a, a great feeling. And uh, yeah, it was as John always said, it was uh, it's just the crew dynamic on the boat was amazing, and the way we all had our own certain roles, and uh, there was never an argument, there was uh, never uh, voices raised, and we all just felt really comfortable. And uh, yeah, it was just great to win with John, and yeah, he's such a legend, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed every bit of it. Must have been a good confidence boost going into your worlds as well. Yeah, it was, but uh, on the same note, I knew I'd just been out of the boat for 10 days, out of the laser and jumping in for the first race. But uh, yeah, I've, I, I just felt comfortable knowing that uh, I'd already just won a world, so I'm, I'm a happy person and uh, I was going to go home happy no matter what. And then to win two in two weeks was yeah, great, great for me. And then uh, just overnight, the latest ISAF rankings have been released and you've jumped up to world number one. It must have been a pleasant surprise. Yeah, it was. I think I was sixth uh, going into it and I thought oh, I might jump up to sort of two or three again, maybe four. And uh, I, I never thought I'd overtake Goody. Uh, he's been there since he overtook me about this time last year. And uh, so, yeah, since then I've sort of been, I went back to about 11 at the start of the year and slowly worked up and, yeah, got number one again. So it sort of caps off a good year. And what's next for you now? I'm um, just having a bit of time off, just uh, well, time off, I'm on the water every day sailing my moth, uh, I've got to learn how to sail that so I can be competitive at the Worlds in January, but, uh, and then I've got some yacht sailing coming up, the Far 40 Worlds are in February, and so we'll be doing a bit of training with that, and, uh, and yeah, just sort of enjoy the summer, I'll be doing some lays, I'll be doing the Perth Test event, and uh, sail Sydney Regatta, and uh, sail Melbourne also, so there's plenty of sailing, but in all different types of boats.